Hi, sweet friend. Welcome to Watercolor Happy Hour. My name is Malta. I'm the artist behind Color Snack. And this here is a watermelon. And also my husband, Dan. That's a big old watermelon. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this was from uh, this past weekend at the Dallas Farmers Market. This particular watermelon variety is called the Desert King uh, or Dessert King if you're like me who, misspells things. who likes to eat desserts. <laughs> but we're really excited. Uh, tonight's cocktail is going to be um, using two of like very delicious ingredients that are in season right now. Um, hatch chili peppers and watermelon. Watermelon. Yeah, and also uh, as, as a side note, uh, we're trying something different with audio. Uh, after the conversation last time when we were thinking about Echo and whatnot, I listened to the stream and the audio was not very good. Uh, so I brought over some of my tech mm -hmm. from my more business data science-y things. Uh, so we're trying lavalier mics, we're trying uh, a, a bit of, uh, of wireless stuff. If the sound is better, let us know. If there's something that is bothering you or you're having trouble hearing, let us know too, because we have no idea what it is that you're hearing on your side. Yeah. Hi, Yolanda. Hi, David. Yolanda, thank yeah. you so much for joining us. Yes, I do did. let us know if you can hear us. Otherwise, um, I've just been talking about this watermelon. No one knows what yes. it was. Uh, thank you, Tiffany. Oh, my like Tiffany. We can, we, can, <laughs> we can read you well, too. Yes, thank you so much. Um, okay, awesome. Yeah. Well, I guess these mics work uh, better than I don't know what I'm trying. Sorry. Well, no, I I'm mean, excited. We're getting ready. We're happy. Yes. <laughs> really excited. Hot watermelon. <laughs> yeah. It actually is. It is spicy. Spicy watermelon. This yeah, is a good one. I, Very Texan today. I was trying to find, come up with a good name, but um, all I did was watermelon hatch cocktail. Well, let's see. So this this cocktail uh, is derived, inspired, a riff from uh, a, a a cocktail that I can remember the name, but I can't remember the name of the place. It was called like a, like Light Alley or Hot Alley or something like that in uh, Charlottesville, Virginia. But the name of the cocktail is originally Brunch at Becky's, which is a fabulous name for a cocktail. <laughs> it's literally a brunch cocktail. I love it. Love it, love it. Uh, it is traditionally, traditionally, as in when it was invented like a year ago, uh, it was made with, uh, with green chartreuse. Green chartreuse meant uh, watermelon, gin, simple syrup. Uh, I love green chartreuse. It is prohibitively expensive I and hard like to find options. so we yeah we very we, yeah. we made we made a variation of this uh using hatch chilies because they're in season uh but if, if you have green turkey try the original brunch of becky's it's delicious if you happen to get charlottesville go over to light alley hot alley i don't know uh, i'm gonna i'll send it out it's awesome Oh, thank you, Yolanda. <laughs> and thank you, David. Thank you. Yes. And he even says it seems clearer. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. You're welcome. Thanks, You're welcome, Dan. everybody. He did set up the mics and stuff. So. Yes, we have lavalier mics. Okay, All right. Let's, let's make the cocktail. Okay, okay. Yes. Let's make this guy. Uh, I combined a lot of my favorite ingredients, uh, gin and vermouth, as well as cherry bitters. These Fee Brothers bitters, both has been introduced to them recently. Oh, they're so good on watermelon too. Yeah, you put cherry bitters on things. You put chocolate bitters on know, things. It's like a, if you're okay, well, obviously you're. Well, actually, some people here like uh, like uh, uh, mocktails. So there is yeah. a little bit of alcohol in these. So if you're a teetotaler or you can't drink alcohol for religious or, or medical reasons, then it's not an option. But uh, they're super concentrated in flavor, and they can add a lot of uh, sweetness and complexity to stuff with very, very, very few calories. Uh, they say zero because it's so small that you use. There is technically some. Uh, but we're going to, I digress. The first thing that we're going to do is roast a pepper. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of a pepper. So let me get my knife. Mm. Smells so good. Have you guys ever had a hatch pepper? Um, they're good roasting. <laughs> They are. I guess All you should roast them. Good I, roasted. I don't know if you, I don't know if you would recommend to eat them 
raw like that. Uh, They're pretty spicy. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm roasting this. I'm going to turn around here and roast this, and then I'm going to ask, answer in depth Yolanda's question about why it is prohibitively expensive. It doesn't uh, have to be in depth, though. Well, I've got nothing <laughs> else to answer. Well, I'm looking for my tongs. I should have had those out. I apologize. Oh, I think they're here. So, uh, green chartreuse is made with like a hundred freaking herbs. Uh, it is one of, if not the oldest, aperitif. Uh, I've talked about it before. I always love to make to to state that uh, the color is named after the uh, liqueur mm-hmm. slash digestive, not the other way around. Uh, and it it is made in very small batches. So and it's imported from Italy, so it costs a lot of money. And also tastes medicinal. So if you're not into that. I think it tastes delicious. Yeah. More of like it's 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 sort of like an herbal but also licorice flavor. Mm-hmm. Very very high in alcohol, so there's a lot of flavors that are imparted into it, and they added a lot of sugar to offset the alcohol. Uh, but yeah, it's made by it's made by a bunch of monks somewhere. I think in Italy, maybe France. I don't know. Uh, a bottle cost, depending on where you are anywhere from 70 to 90 dollars wow yeah that's pricey yeah you can you can do a lot with that money besides just buy one bottle of green chartreuse that said if you have to get one of those obnoxiously upscale liqueurs that might be the one to go with if nothing else then you have uh the ability to make a uh a verde colada, and a last word, uh, as well as a Vesper martini. Okay. There's a lot of like pretentious cocktails made with green chartreuse. Because it's expensive and people feel like they have to be pretentious to enjoy it. Uh, it's kind of a self fulfilling <laughs> prophecy, isn't it? I don't know. I'm not a fan of chartreuse. Uh, I mean, people like it, that's cool. Um, I don't. <laughs> yeah. I think it's good. Yeah, we yeah. want to we want to burn this. So okay. so when you make these, what you're really looking to do is like just burn the snot out of it. Snot? I can't say snot. No, it's, it's well, gross. Do you want to? Uh, what else? Must be, the heck? Sure. <laughs> what words can I say? No, no, Tell not, me. Not. Just not. Just not. Just not. Snot. <laughs> Yet I'm still saying it. All right, so what we're going to do now, mm, uh, it smells oh, like a, smells like a campfire. Turn off the fire. Yes. So while it's all smoky, we're going to take that glass that we're going to use and we're going to just use it to kind of oh, yeah, look at soften that. up the uh-huh. pepper and sort of infuse the glass with all that cool Ooh, smoke. Oh, yeah, it's a nice little touch. It adds <laughs> you know, a little judge, a little fun. Pepper Ariel. <laughs> yes. All right, we're going to move all this over and we're going to start building the cocktail itself. Uh, boom. First thing, we got to get some watermelon. Oh, I got to get this. What is that? FedEx. Oh, I have, I have to, no I have to sign for this. It's my Prosecco bottles. Oh, okay. Yeah, Volta's got a brand activation coming up and she got some, uh, some bottles Hello. coming in. Yes. Which means, of course, that yeah. she has oh, to sign uh, Let me get so that. I'm just going to riff here. So if you guys want to know anything about anything while Volta's away, you want to hear me say snot a bunch of times? I can say that because she's not here. Hey, 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 hey. What can I find? Volta is away. Damn, this is snot. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's see. We're going to get about, uh, we want about two ounces of juice, and this one feels a little dry. So I am going to take. A, about a sixteenth, so a one eighth wedge, and then cut that in half. We're going to use that little technique that we've seen before. Like this, you take the edge of your shaker and you just use that as a knife to peel off whatever it is you're trying to peel. Works well with a uh, thick rind things like grapefruit or oranges. We're just we'll get rid of that guy. So we're gonna smash that up. 
But the first thing that we're going to do is add all of the other ingredients. We'll take our cherry bitters. We're going to take a half ounce of vermouth. Uh, now, vermouth, I've talked about it quite a few times. I like a good dry one. Uh, Carpano dry is excellent. Dolan dry is excellent. Uh, Martini Rossi is okay as long as you drink it quickly. I like the ones such as uh, Carpano and Dolan that can stand up for a few months in the fridge. And as always, keep your vermouth both sweet and dry in the fridge, not on the shelf. It gets bitter fast. That's why a lot of people think that they taste bad. They don't. They taste delicious. Get one fresh. They're wonderful. It's also why I keep the smaller sizes instead of the larger ones. A little bit more expensive per bottle, but more. Yeah. Oh, so. That's so exciting. <laughs> yeah, talk about your new brand activating. I'm doing a brand activation next week for uh, Capo Saldo, Prosecco, a Brut and a Rosé wine. I'm excited to try them. But um, basically, the activation is going to be uh, with a group of people, and we're going to like try these Proseccos and figure out the tasting notes. And then we're going to paint it with watercolors. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's fun. I, I, I love that, that all the pretentious talk that we've had about cocktails and whiskey and wine and tasting notes is, is, is emerging into art. Yeah, and I want to give a shout out to uh, my friend Diana at Co-Brand. Uh, she's uh, the one that's working with me for this activation and she mailed me these Prosecco to Thank try you, it. Man. Maybe we'll we'll use them in like the cups or something. Yeah, well, actually, that could be a fun little like enhancement to the watercolor stuff. Yeah. That instead of just painting the cocktail, you could paint the ingredients or the flavors. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. I mean, for these, not for that. Uh, no, I know oh, what you're doing. Oh, yeah. For the watercolor happy. Oh uh, yeah, gotcha. That that would let me even just like drink whiskeys and talk about the, oh, that's the true. flavors. Yeah, we them. could do that because whiskeys like just kind of boring. To but yeah yeah all right well what you okay. saw me do was pour in a, a half ounce of simple uh and you saw a half ounce of vermouth and now i didn't have time to make a super juice so i am going to just squeeze in some lime uh I, the ingredients were based on super juice so it was a half ounce but since these are the dry texas limes i'm only going to use about you know whatever, three-eighths of an ounce, okay. a little less, just because it tends to be more concentrated and acidic here. All right, got all those guys. And then last but not least is our gen. Uh, my MVP gen is Roku gen. That is a white but still gen gen, I guess for lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. It still has that gen profile, but it does not overwhelm with juniper. It's it, it, it accents whatever it is that you're using it with. Not one that you would necessarily want to use like a martini because it doesn't have a lot of flavor by itself, mm -hmm. but it has those like elevating uh, flavors that gin has. So it's going to accentuate and everything. The else. bottle is really cool. The tasting notes of the gin are illustrated on the bottle. How cool is that? Oh my God. Yes. One day I want to illustrate a gin bottle like that. Yeah. Very cool. We got this side. Some cool flowers. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now with all that out of the way, last but not least, we're going to take this guy that we roasted and now it's all softened because mm -hmm. it's been steaming inside that glass. It smells so good in here. Yes. And we're going to take just a little slice like this. I'm going to do two, just in case. We're going to use those for garnish. And with this, I'm just going to stick. cut it. I think it's in front of me. We're just going to take just a rough chop, drop that in too. Oh, the original brunch of Becky's also included mint, uh, but the chili kind of takes over all of that for us. We're not going to worry about mint. Sorry, let me get this. Sure, you can see me doing it. I'm just mashing it. So we're just going to take 
that watermelon and that chili and just smush everything together with our muddler to give us a nice watermelon fueled delicious cocktail. Got your little um, garnish. Ah, thank you. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's bring it. I don't know why I feel like I'm, I'm shouting. I feel like I need to shout because I'm far away. <laughs> yeah. I see our other microphone and it's further away. So yeah. Like, well, well, there's also no music, so we're just trying to. There is music, we just can't. Yeah, hear we it. can't hear the music. It's yeah. in the background, so we're just kind of trying to fill the space. We want to make sure that everybody enjoys what's going on. Although I bet that's loud, nice. so I'm trying to hold that away. Fun, Dan. Yes, whiskey hour, not happy hour. Well, that is a happy hour. <laughs> but even more whiskey hours. Oh, I've got plenty that I can talk about when it comes to whiskey. Don't worry. Whiskey, scotches, rums. If it's aged in a barrel, I have opinions on it. Yeah. Yes, so now we take that smoked glass. And in this case, I'm going to do things a little differently. I'm going to take some cherries. And I want to, I want to be able to pour this over top of the garnish so it gets a little extra flavor. We're going to take one of these rings and do something similar to the Saturn cocktail. And we're going to make ourselves a cool garnish. Yeah, it's really pretty. It smells so good. You can get a little, like, oh, what happened there? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Or you get a neat little eye. I'll push it up all the way. Yeah. And take a bit more of that watermelon we had. And you just, to, end, to do one of these cool, like, pyramid things, you just keep at the uh, the edge and you just move it over in an angle mm -hmm. so you so you just like that and you get a nice little point so it's not it's not a flat wedge it's like a pyramid wedge it's very cool uh thank you david he said production quality really stepped up what? you should see where we started with our instagram lives where it was not it was not good <laughs> was, oh my god it was rough they're oh. still out there on my profile but <laughs> yeah uh, it's, it's a little cringy looking back but you know we tried we learned we developed dan in a jacket what is that dan in a jacket dan in a jacket oh like in a like, like, like being sophisticated? I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't think I'm wearing jackets. I have no idea. Oh, what's going on with my, with my, uh, little... Sorry. There we go. It's a little, <laughs> struggling a little bit. What happened here? Oh, well. Okay. So, yeah. So, now we've got our garnish. A little excessive. So fun. It'll be it fun works. to paint. Yes. I, I make these garnishes just so Volta can paint yeah. them. Yeah. Well, okay. Then we're gonna take. There we go. All right. So now we've got this guy, and we are going to double strain because we've got a bunch of watermelon and seeds and junk all up in there. So you always have to have your little double strainer. You also have a few little like specks of burnt pepper, but that adds you know, flavor. And you also want to let it sit a while because it gets, while it does water it down, that's kind of a good thing. It allows all the flavor to infuse into it and gives you a little bit extra liquid. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's, it's just a touch strong if you were to just pour it right away. Well, I'm going to try it. Yeah, so there you go. I still don't know what to call this thing. Oh, there's some heat in the, the background. The first one, the first one's spicy. I think some of the oil floats on the Ooh, top. Oh, it's like, wow, there's there's a pepper in this drink. Mm. Watermelon patch. Very yeah. good. Very now good. try it. Now that you've gotten the, the spice out of the way, the initial sizzle. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. Yeah. Oh, I think it's one of my favorite ones you've done. Yeah, it it kind of has that because of the vermouth. I had no idea that vermouth and watermelon would pair. Uh thanks to those guys at the uh, Hot Alley or High Alley something alley. Yeah. But yeah, I'll 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 make sure the both puts a link to it. There but yeah, it's great. It's brilliant. and based on one of the best cocktail names that I've ever heard brunch of Becky's. So, thank you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, can you uh add me to the stream? Oh right. no. Don't, don't yeah, touch. my hands are very sticky right now from okay. manhandling those cherries. I will add myself to the stream. Hello. 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 Okay. Mm. Time to paint. I feel I feel so validated with the production quality stuff up there. Yes. Thank you David. You made my day. Oh. All right guys, now it's time um to paint this. So I'm really excited cuz this is I don't think we've we've um painted a glass shape before. Um are there there are no ver- there are no parallel lines on it. Or uh, are there? I mean, you parallel-ish. kind of parallelish, yeah. Yeah, both is going to find a way to make a parallel. <laughs> I'm just saying the shape of the goblet or the goblet. The no, no, it is a goblet. Chalice, chalice goblet. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to start with two slightly parallel lines ish. <laughs> then at the bottom, I'm going to connect them with a curved line. And then at the top, the curve is going to face upwards a little bit like this. Uh, and then this glass has like partitions in it so I'm going to kind of just eyeball it roughly divide it into three parts here and then just a couple of like little uh curved lines at the top to show like the the design of the glass and actually um this one is a little a little more narrow <laughs> than what I'm drawing but it'll work Oh, well, you know what's funny? I just realized I was I was yelling over to you because yeah. I assumed the microphone was by you. I have a microphone oh, now. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm they sorry, can guys. hear me. I'm sorry, guys, if we're like yelling. Well, no, they, they adjust. Okay. It adjusts Hopefully. based on sound. I can yeah. I can actually see the little fob. It'll it'll turn red if it gets too loud. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. All right. So then now for the garnish, really fun part. Now, now, now you're whispering. Now you're whispering. No, it's okay. It, it's it's very <laughs> hard to talk too loud on a stream. Okay. That's why you see YouTubers always like, "Hey guys, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like, like what we what we think is a normal conversation that doesn't work that well on video." Yeah. Anyway. For this garnish, which is the watermelon wedge, it's essentially like a tall type of triangle shape. And then at the top of it, uh we're doing the little little circular shape for and like another circular shape inside of it to represent the hatch pepper and then the another even smaller circle inside to represent the cherry. Smaller and smaller sir. A little sweet pretty swoop that kind of represents the the cocktail garnish stick or whatever. Yeah. Okay. And then so that's kind of like the main shape again just trying trying to break it down into simpler shapes of whatever that you see and then uh for this base here it's just going to be like a little rectangular shape but it's going to have like rounded corners. and then we're going to have two little parallel lines in a circular shape. Oh, kind of like this. And then two lines are going to go outward to to sketch out the base of the glass. And then a like a slightly curved line that connects these. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't I couldn't resist having yeah. a little sip of the chartreuse before I put it away. Oh, okay. And again, I forgot that I'm miked, so I they probably heard me opening it up and enjoying it. Oh, okay, yeah. Please don't. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to the baking. <laughs> yes. People people enjoy my editorializing in my head. Yeah. 
Uh, all right, so I'm gonna be using this water brush pen and for my watermelon, um, like the, the beverage content, the color, I'll, I'm using a little bit of this pink opera and or any type of like um, magenta color will work as well. And then add just a touch of orange, like a lighter orange. Um, and that will give it a nice kind of warm watermelony color. Just gonna mix it up and maybe add a cup of water so that it mixes in a little bit. And then um, now I'm just gonna start painting. So I will leave a blank space in between these partitions just so that you can kind of have the impression that um, well, it's inside of the glass, and the glass has those like kind of like shapes in there. Kind of adds a, just like a small detail, but adds to the sketch. And I am painting on dry paper because um, these areas are fairly small, so they would be um, a little bit harder to control if we were to do like the you know adding water first and then dropping color in. So right now, um, it looks kind of light, so I'm gonna drop in more color so that I can darken the value. And the like the mixture of the two colors, it really is kind of like, um, it very much experimental. So if yours looks a little bit darker, like more on the cooler side of the magenta, or maybe a little bit warmer, like, don't worry about it, as long as it's kind of, you know, um, just like a similar color in, the, in that respect, it'll be fine. I, I like to encourage people to just, you know, experiment. If you want to make yours like a completely different color. Yeah, it's like, it's like you can make your ideal cocktail. Yeah. So now I'm also going to lift off. I would much prefer this cocktail to look the color of the one on the left. On the left? This but, side? Yeah, that yeah. one. I left on my side because it would be like red and rich. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and also uh, it looks like uh, like Angie is joined. Angie, hello, welcome. So I'm lifting off just a little bit because my light source is coming from the left hand side. And then I'm wiping it off just so that I have like tiny little highlights here. Uh, and since this side is technically more like, you know, away from the sun. Uh, some source it's not really gonna have a highlight so that's why it's a little bit kind of you know doesn't have that all right so and now both of them, yeah. all these cocktails are outside on a sunny day yeah they all are <laughs> and um, the light source is always on the left side <laughs> it's because you're on the sunny side of the street oh uh, yeah sunny side out <laughs> okay so for the actual watermelon slice I, mean, I added a little bit more magenta just so that it has like a bit of a like a difference in in color so um it doesn't look like exactly like the beverage but and, and i'm kind of painting like um you see i'm leaving some blank spaces in between basically i just want to represent that this uh garnish is inside of the glass and like you can see some of the texture that's like covering it so um totally optional but i just thought it added a little bit to it. All right. This, this Desert King watermelon is just so good. It's delicious. I just stole a bite of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm crunching it very softly. Okay. I, I, I assume that the noise canceling would, okay. would hide. Hopefully people aren't like just it's ASMR. Okay, no. No, no. That. That's not how ASMR We're works. We're not doing that. Um, I'm just going to softly chew this. <laughs> Let me bite into this whole watermelon. <laughs> um, okay, for the chili circle shape patch, I'm going okay. to use a darker green here. So it's, like, again, a little bit different from the watermelon rind. And then the maraschino cherry, it has like 
it's like a very dark red plus purple color so we'll mix them together you'll get this really nice kind of rich uh, purpley reddish color Right, and then I'm uh, just gonna use a little bit of like one of my brown colors here. Just gonna grab a touch so I can paint this little little garnish stick at the top. And then finally for the glass outline, um, feel free to use like either a paint gray diluted with water or any blue will work. I'm, I'm using this particular blue because it's very kind of like uh, lighter in color. Uh, but any anyone will do as long as like you just add enough water to make it very fairly light. And I'm just like outlining these little lines here too. Uh, uh, David is asking if you can layer the colors once they are dry. Yes, you can. If if you want to add more depth to your sketch. Um, just allow it to dry and then go over with it with like another layer. That definitely helps with um, kind of making the sketch have um, more of a realistic looking feel. Uh, so I outlined like the bottom portion. It's it's fairly dark with this color, the blue. But I'm, I, I've cleaned off my brush and I'm just going to use that to kind of soften, soften this line and Essentially, like you use that to pull the color into the left hand side. So that's just another way of how you can, um, you know, instead of like lifting off highlights, you can kind of paint them in essentially. So I'm just kind of softening. So I'm ready to size a little bit darker and then it's lighter here because I, I didn't add any color. Uh, and let's see, the last thing you could do is maybe add a tiny little highlight to the Maraschino cherry at the top. Maybe a little bit like just uh, off on like the left side of the watermelon slice. And a little bit here on the right as well, just so like it kind of matches, you know, the light is hitting this object and you see some little highlights here and there. All right. Well, I hope you give this a try. This is a really fun kind of um, new glass shape. I don't remember where we got it. Is, is that one? Is this the one you got from the antique mall? Uh, possibly from Goodwill, maybe. Yeah, going to Goodwill or any of the other uh, thrift shops. Yeah, it's, it's been really fun to find like unexpected shapes. Yeah, we find really cool old glasses or weird random glasses. They're good for like one-offs because they're, they're well, they're cheap, and you also usually don't want to get an entire collection of yeah. uh, glasses. The result now is we have a bunch of very random glasses, which I think is fun. I think but, it makes for it makes for a fun cocktail party where yeah. people come over Everyone and they all get different glasses. Yeah. <laughs> well, now they know which one wears. That's true. Yeah, different. yeah. You won't be accidentally picking up another person's glass. So mm -hmm. basically, it's very sanitary. Yeah, no, no, it's, 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 it benefits <laughs> everyone, and it does look fun. Uh, thank you, Yolanda. I hope you give it a try, and if nothing else, you guys have to get some chili hatch, hatch chili peppers. They are in season right now. So delicious! I like can't wait to put them into everything. Um, I want to eat them. Yeah, and. Uh, very good. Also, watermelon season. Yeah, watermelon season, hatch season. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, hatch is, is just a great like. It's a, it's basically a spicy green pepper. Yeah, but it's not though. It's like got it's got a certain. It's got that hatchiness. It got the hatch like flavor. I I can't explain it. It's unlike any other pepper. Yeah, it's like it's and, like it's like a green. It's a, it's green pepper texture. I know some spice, something or two about that. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's pretty. <laughs> Did you guys know that Volta has a towel? towel. Yeah, there's she has other, other And there's towels. a hash pepper on here. Are you going to talk about your right other here. designs? No. No, no. no. We won't talk about those? Okay. Not yet. 
I'm working on some fun stuff. Yeah, just a little nibble really of something excited. coming up. Really excited. Mm -hmm. May or may not have food on it. <laughs> food design. May or may not. <laughs> yeah. Really. Yeah. Yeah, I think it will. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining different us. Glasses. I yes. hope you have. <laughs> yeah. Different glasses. Different glasses. Different glasses. Hope you have a great rest of your week and we'll see you um, sometime in place next week. Have a good one. Bye, everyone. Bye.